Hello and welcome to Game 6 of the Cheap Frills Winter Invitational filmed on February 4th 2016. Uh, legal packs in this set are up to Data and Destiny. So this is the grand final now between Charlie and Simon. Simon's come back through the loser's bracket uh, playing Gagarin on the right hand side. On the left Charlie is playing his Max Eater Keyhole Siphon Hell Deck. So Simon's starting up with ice in two centrals and restoring a remote. Charlie pitches a daily cast and an inject there and then takes his draw for his ID. Sure gamble to get the money going early. That game was horrible, honestly. It was just like it was like a really good start and then the slow realisation that I'm just totally fucked. <laughs> Run HQ. No res from Simon. Ah, there's a melange. Charlie's gonna get rid of that just to. Okay. <laughs> Click to account siphon and there's a spider web. Simon happy to uh, allow some access. Is not so happy to allow Charlie to take away his money. Uh, so Josh B. And if Simon hasn't seen any of the earlier rounds, that will definitely tell him exactly what Charlie's up to. So it takes a credit, install, res the turtle backs, and then one more. In, yeah, one more install just to get the credit back. Turtlebacks in Gagarin is absolutely brilliant. Uh, just paying you for doing what you want to do anyway. Uh, Charlie there just marking down that he's going to take the extra click from Josh B. Uh, Friday, I've had worse, and uh, is that retrieval run, I think? Run R&D. It's NAPD. He's going to pay to take that. It's got to be worth checking again there, surely. Okay, Charlie's drawing. Full guy there. And DLR. Okay, so Simon isn't going to be able to get rid of that DLR this turn. Not with the full guy down, himself only having one credit. Um, resin boot camp at the end of Charlie's turn. To res the tour guide for one, only one credit. Tour guide again, brilliant. Gagarin just really, really taxing for the runner. Uh, Charlie playing obviously the eater keyhole. If Simon can get enough remotes out, that that just kills that keyhole completely. Eater can't afford to keep going through with a bunch of assets out. Uh, installing the asset there uh, gets the turtle bats credit. And then Simon just money's up. <coughs> so five clicks to Charlie again. Uh, throws away, I think that was a foul standing inject. Four DLRs. Charlie, deal one more time. We'll check those. Might as well check them. See what's in there. If there's a Jackson out, you force the pop. So Simon will have to respond to this DLR refract quite quickly. Okay, gets the access. There's an archer, GFI, uh, public support, and turtlebacks. Over two cards there. Simon Rez is a tech startup. I think this will be for a melange. Okay. Team sponsorship there. Which means this unchecked remote is probably, well, almost certainly got to be an agenda. 
so it's like, yeah. yeah. Click one game. Yeah. And I never didn't kick him up for the yeah. video. I've been doing it anyway. Install. Install again. So, having seen the team sponsorship there, he's kind of baiting Charlie to go and check those remotes. So, Charlie, I imagine, can just keep hammering the DLR and just keep on that fret while it's there. Simon is going to quickly get in the position to trash that now. So, cost him four credits with the full guy out. Yeah. Hit the DLR again. Four DLRs. Check again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Simon actually had a Jackson on the last turn as well, but popping it just for the one GFI, possibly not that great. But there's, I'm guessing there's more in there now that he needs. So there's at least one there. He doesn't want Charlie got to six points. Guessing from the pause, there's only the one, unless he could leave an NAPD in there. That, that's obviously kind of brave. Okay, so tech start up, a face down, public support, the melange. Okay, so those three going back in. Wrong here. Because there's four face down cards, at least. Unless you turn the face up. Maybe turn the face up, I don't know. Oh, I think I turn the face up. Oh, I think it's this thing. I don't see this thing, at least. Yeah, so, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I turn the face cool. up. Cool. Okay, so Charlie sees an archer there. And I think that's another team sponsorship in there as well. Yeah. That's fine. You carry on. Yeah, yeah, that's my last pick, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Simon's turn now. <coughs> Kill that DLR threat, surely. Yeah. yeah, so the boot camp reses team sponsorship for zero. Paying to res another team sponsorship. And then, yeah, score project Atlas for free clicks. That's going to allow him to install two cards from Archives or HQ. Um, isn't going to end that DLR threat still. Presumably, it's got. It must be a Jackson in hand there that he wants to put out. Oh, no, he can he can do the tech startup, actually. The tech startup. So there's another team sponsorship. And another turtle back. So, okay, so you're leaving the tech start up in there. Uh, Charlie's just going to DLR him again, though. Although, if Simon hasn't got an answer in hand, there's not a lot he can do there, I suppose. Yeah, here comes a DLR again. I think if I'm Simon, I really would want to get rid of that DLR in the full line in the last turn. Charlie runs in, as predicted. Another GFI. Oh, that's the future is now actually there. So that puts Charlie on game point now. Simon's rezzing the turtle backs with the boot camp. So not interested in stopping this DLR threat. These Gagara decks can sometimes give up some uh, agendas early, depending if you uh, don't ice the right right way of your essentials, either HQ or, or R&D, but this certainly is what you would have expected to happen. Okay, hostile takeover, that's going to give Charlie, or give Simon one bad publicity, which is a credit for the run-up uh, run. Gain some money. And he's getting out the Elizabeth Mills, which will clear the bad pub when he reses it. Okay, so ice on archives. That's that's an answer to DLR. Yeah, 
Uh, Charlie's running Eater, but Eater isn't going to help when trying to access archives. Okay, so not a great start for Simon, but he's now got the R&D really, really comfortably protected. They're already on one, two, three, four of us. Six subs if you were to run the R&D. In fact, another tour guide in archives as well. That's really good for Simon, although it is weak to Parasite. Okay, so four DLRs and an install of a Corroder there from Charlie. So maybe he's banking on another spider web. Could even be a Hadrian's Wall. Not a bad splashing of Garin. Do this by five. Why am so Simon's got his X8 to boot camp. He might not want to give away what the Ison Archives is. Uh, so that's unlikely to be his choice for the uh, the cheaper res. Maybe the Liz Mills just to get rid of the bad pub. It gets rid of any kind of uh, just in case Charlie has got a blackmail for it as well. Okay, resin the public support with the boot camp. Simon's letting Charlie look at uh, Elizabeth Mills again. Even though it's face down, Charlie knows what it is, so there's no real harm there. So, resin the public support with the boot camp does mean that the what the, the starts with the free tokens. You don't lose one this turn, but it's just a threat that Charlie has to answer. Uh, it's four to trash, one to axe as well, Gagarin. So it's five to get rid of it and answer that threat, Gagarin. If you don't do it, you're just giving the corporal point, which Simon can use to res his archers. So yeah, popping his boot camp there to look for an asset. It's gonna be a Jackson. So Simon now on his way to digging out of this DLR hole that he started out with. He's got the R&D uh, covered and safe. There's some ISOL archives and now with Jackson in hand he can just provide a way to get stuff out of there if Charlie does find a way in. Charlie's nowhere near having the money right now to do a Hades shard so that's not a threat. Because that, that is one thing, when you are playing against someone playing like a keyhole deck or a DLR deck, um, quite often you can feel safe with some ice in front of archives and forget that uh, the runner could just spend seven to install a Hades shard, pop it before you've got a chance to do a Jackson or anything like that, and cost you the game. And that's really easy to miss because the corp as well. So Simon, storing your remote, resing a turtle backs. It's now got three turtle backs online, so that's three credits just for creating a new server. I think he's only taken two there. Ah, Charlie's just pointed out it should be a third credit there actually. Simon's so still with a click remaining. Free turtlebacks is fantastic as well. Just getting three credits at a time for installing a card is brilliant. Once the mind does start ticking in these Gagar index, it just becomes really hard to keep under control for the runner. And Simon just considering a draw for click three, thinking better of it. Okay, using Jackson's draw two instead. <coughs> well, Charlie takes a credit for click one. Count siphon. Um, the bad pub and two yeah. One bad pub and yeah. Okay. <coughs> so Simon's gonna res Elizabeth Mills, leaves him with three credits, which gives Charlie six. Uh, the Liz Mills res also gets rid of the bad pub, which means Charlie is a credit down in theory per run, which would have stopped him getting in for that count siphon actually. Uh, Rudd in the archives now. Simon giving up the hostile takeover. Is that a pad I think on top there? 
So Charlie on six points now. Any agenda is going to win the game for him. Uh, there comes down the wide snap for him. So that'll just keep that DLR going now. Simon, unlike you ever want to pay for a full guy in a wireless net. Sorry. Uh, uh, this is... This is post uh, wireless net pavilion being made unique. Uh, deal after crit five. So Charlie can keep hitting the DLR button. He knows there's a Jackson on. So in theory to make that work. Now he needs to get four agendas in the bin. Um, he's sitting relatively comfortable now. Simon low on cash. Charlie can possibly just sit there and DLR five turns per, for two or three turns. Really just put the pressure on Simon to come up with an answer for that. Oh, sorry, this goes up here, so. uh, Josh B in DLR does mean you can mill five cards per turn, which you can put, if you really want to go just all out aggro, you can just put a massive timer against the corp and threaten to mill them out. Those team sponsorships are going to help a little bit. Jackson will help somewhat. We've seen one Jackson gone so far. This is pre-Museum of History, so there's no threat of uh, Gagarin installing a Museum of History to start cycling cards back in, which is so popular right now as this is recorded. New remote. New remote, new remote. Tons of money just for installing. <coughs> I think if I'm Charlie, I really do just want to hit DLR. Let's go check this new remote. Paying a credit. Corporate town. Okay. Can't afford to trash that. That is going to deal with the DLR. No. It's too late once I've revealed it. Is it? Yeah, so Charles going to pop the full guy for two credits, go back in, and now get rid of that corporate town. Oh, which he's got to do, because otherwise Simon can just start clearing his board. <laughs> and then DLR three times. If you're running a resource heavy runner deck, which a lot of runner decks are at the moment, uh, Corporate Town, if you can get Corporate Town up, which the yeah. runner can't get to, you can just kill off whatever they're doing. Yeah. So, paying two to res, another public support. That's going to tick down to two. The other one on the far end is going to tick down to one. Simon finding his way back in. Simon would have loved that Corporate Town could have come online then. Um, but might have even been happy to throw away the Atlas he scored just to get that ticking over. Could have waited an extra turn just for the public support to come down, but Charlie checked it and got rid of it. So a new remote for free credits. And double advance, which is never hostile. Yeah, it's one of the team sponsorships fired that, and the other one going to be for card from hand, I think. Just want to have a look at Charlie's heap there. So look at how quickly Simon's economy's just gone ticking up with those free turtle backs unanswered by Charlie. Um, being able to just make money for f as he wishes just for installing cars, which is what you're doing at Garin anyway. So what is that second sponsorship going to be? Simon thinking, looking at some face downs. Yeah, face down from our cards, which gets him another free credits. That's an incredible... Considering that was a scoring turn for Simon, he made so much money between the hostile and the two new installs. And the third team sponsorship is the ice that card, so 
that could be... It's not the corporate town. I think... Did the corporate town go back out? I think it's the first team sponsorship. Which is awkward for Charlie because he's not really got a way to answer that. Oh, we've got the agenda money. Oh, I'm pretty sad I forgot. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, for I think I forgot the seven credits last time. Because I was like, so rich as it was. Yeah, and yeah, Simon just noticed he missed the seven credits yeah, from the hostile takeover. Team sponsorship and turtle back triggers. I think I just forgot to get in the seven. Can I count this, please? Yeah, sure. Made a mistake. So, Charlie asking Alfie can count how many cards are in R&D. So, there's ten cards left in R&D. There's one Jackson in play. There's an... Presumably Simon's running a third, so there's one either in hand, in those face downs, or in those ten. Yeah. I think if I'm Charlie, I'm going to get the five DLRs this turn. DLR do it while he can do it, because if that is a corporate town, it's not going to. Yeah. It's going to come online. Yeah. So, public sympathy scores. A uh, public support. Another one goes down. Oh wow! Nice. Ooh. Sure. Project Atlas. Sure. Seven points for Simon. So despite that really strong start from Charlie, Simon just able to play around it, um, willing to give up some points there to Charlie, when it, even when there was Jackson on the board, just knowing that it was going to give him a way out eventually. Well played, and that is going to take us to a grand final, as these two will swap sides, and we'll have that game coming up soon.